What's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. I will be telling you guys all about my ASVAB experience. Now I did take my ASVAB just recently this week at MEPS, but we're gonna talk about all that leading up to that point. And the branch that I am enlisting in is Air Force, so period. When I first went to a recruiter, I was in my junior year of high school, and it was really nothing that they could do with me at this point, cause like, I hadn't graduated yet. My When I took the pretest there, it was not good enough for them. I got like a, I believe a 44 on my pretest. So, and I wasn't in the weight, like my weight was low, so I needed to get my weight up. I believe I was at 103, and I believe the minimum is 105, so 105 or 107. But I needed to get my weight up, and I needed to graduate, and I need to get a better pretest score, you know, study more and stuff, so. After I graduated, I found another recruiter, which is my current recruiter. And it was a rocky start because with Air Force recruiters, you have to be on them. You have to, cause they're, well, the one that I have at least, he wasn't upfront with me about everything. I was very confused. I had to ask the majority of the questions when I feel like it was the information should have been given to me. So, and I was scared to ask certain stuff because I was like, okay, maybe he's not giving me this information for a reason. I don't know. I was really confused. I watched a bunch of Air Force videos prior. Thought I knew everything about what I needed to do and what the podcast was. I didn't know nothing. I didn't even take the pretest with him. I just, he just gave me my podcast. And so I took the podcast and I was really confused. Like it was sort of me getting a feel of it. I was just using what I knew, but I didn't pass that. I got a 48, very close to passing. I could have got, for the podcast you have to get a 50, or above, and then you have to retake at retake like a mini ASVAB once you go to MEPS. But since I was very close to pass, but I didn't pass, I did not qualify. So I told him that I needed a little bit of time to study so I can actually take the ASVAB. And once you take the PICAT, you cannot take the PICAT again. So you have to go in and take the ASVAB. So he gave me some time. I took a class with Fernando. Cardona, Fernando Cardona. And that class was very beneficial. I feel like it helped me a lot. I took it for three, I took it for three months and I believe I took the hybrid course. It was really no reason for me to do that because I didn't even look at the science stuff that he had and that's what I mainly want to score high in. And it was really no reason for me to even, you know, do all that. So the hybrid class I believe is 125 and the regular class is 100 but you can make payments on it. So it's really, you can't go wrong. Just take the class. <laughs> it's beneficial um, to understand what's on the ASVAB so you can, you know, get a feel for it if you haven't even taken it before. So it was a very helpful class. And then um, after that, okay, so then once I decided that I was ready, he was like, okay, so I'm gonna give you this pretest. And remind you, all of this has been online. I did talk to him over the phone like once, but everything else was online because of COVID. So I wasn't able to go to the actual Air Force office to take the pretest. So I took it at home completely using my dome, was not using any other thing, was not using a calculator. Cause you know, when you take the ASVAB, you can't use a calculator, you have to use this right here and a piece of paper. So, um, yeah, I did. So I was like, oh Lord. So I submitted it to him. I was like, okay, I finished it. And he told me I got a 68. I was very, very excited about that. He's like, you killed it. I was very excited about that. Very, very excited. So I was like, okay, period. So um, you can set me up a date um, next week. And that's exactly what he did. And so I took my ASVAB just as recently at MEPS. Now let me just get into that experience in itself. First of all, I get to the base and the guard takes my ID or whatever and he tells me to park, I park and I come back around and he gives me back my ID and tells me to follow this other girl because she's doing the same thing to the place where we're supposed to be taking, the building where we're supposed to be taking our ASVAP. So it was cold and it wasn't raining but it was like the morning time so you know how the ground is wet. So it was cold, just know that. And I only had on the, um, I had on an undershirt, long sleeve undershirt, and I had on a crew neck, but that doesn't really matter. But I was, we were both walking, 
like through the grass like it was like a, a bit of a way to the where we we're supposed to be taking our test and i got to know her she got to know me it was cute it was fun i already felt like i was in the air force just you know the just the way you get to talk to people and like start a friendship and stuff it was mainly cool how you just get to share an experience with someone basically and once we got there we had to take all our jewelry off and put it in our pockets and then I had to redo another COVID uh, slip. I don't know why, but I had to do that. And then once we went through, we was in his waiting room with a bunch of other kids or like just people. I'm not sure how old a lot of them were. They were like between the ages of my age, was 18, uh, which is 18 and maybe 27 maybe. But anyways, we were all there. And at first everything was cool. We were talking like a little bit like very minimal, just everybody asking, like, which branch are you going to? They were doing like a story time. And this one dude, this girl was like, so can we put our jewelry back on? And he was like, yeah, I think we can put our jewelry, as he's putting his necklace back on, yeah, I think we can put our jewelry back on, but back to story time. And he, before he could even finish his sentence, one of the guards had walked in that was doing the front door. He was like, let me reenact it. He was like, keep your jewelry off. Did I tell you to put your jewelry back on? Keep your jewelry off at all times. And then he just like stands there and the guy's like, okay, okay, okay. Cause like he was like, I, I feel his secondhand embarrassment. And so the guy walks out and he's like, like, you know, as, as normal. And I was just like, Gah! and then they kept getting on them because people had their masks like a little bit, you know, over their, under their nose. Just, yeah. they kept getting yelled at for that. And people, the other girl was like, Jeez, he doesn't have to be that harsh. Baby, you're going into the military. What do you expect? This is this is serious. Once it's COVID, it's serious. Yeah, but anyways, that was that experience. And you would take a ticket, then they would call you um, to get your fingerprints and your picture taken. And then once you got that, you would go to this other room where you would check in. And then you would wait until they bring you into the room where you could set up on the computer. You would take your ASVAB. So I took my ASVAB after I did all that. And then I took this personality test and then some other type of test. I forgot, I feel like it was like a bunch of tests back to back on top of each other's. But it probably was not that many. It was like two of them, I think. And then, um, and the personality test was a hundred something questions. I was very annoyed, very much annoyed. Because it was like giving you an option to say like, so if you want, okay, so it was like, which one closely relates to you? So I said, would you rather steal, I mean, I am the type of person that steals from churches and homeless people and I kill people for fun. So which one closely relates to you? What am I supposed to choose? They're not, they're, they're all horrible. So I, you know, that's just what that is. It's not, I don't think it's something that you can fail. And then I leave and I have to walk back to my car all the way by myself. And it got colder for some reason. It felt like it was like raining a little bit. It was uh, drizzling, cold rain. So it felt like it was snowing. But I had to walk back in my J's through the mud. Anyways, I walked back to my car and I text my recruiter to tell him that I uh, finished the test because the other dude was telling me that he could get the results in an hour and he said okay So he'll check and he'll let me know. So as I'm on the road, I get the um, The text from him and I passed. I was just so excited I was like it wasn't the score that I was aiming for or that I studied so hard for I didn't realize that it was gonna be that it was that hard or like I'm not sure but I didn't get the score that I wanted ex initially, but I am happy that I passed because people say that it's not easy to pass. Like it's not easy for everybody to pass. And if you pass, then that's amazing because the Air Force um, ASVAB is harder. I don't know why people say that. I, don't, I think it's the same, but it's hard to pass basically. And I passed and I'm very excited. <sighs> Monday, I speak with my recruiter to go to MEPS on Tuesday, so I have to stay in a hotel on Monday. And I am so excited, very excited, super excited, guys. I already have a job in line that I want to pursue. I'm not gonna tell you guys that yet. I'm gonna tell you guys after MEPS. Just to, you know, not jinx anything, make sure I qualify. I will let you guys know if I don't qualify at MEPS because I don't know why I wouldn't, like, 
and I don't have any issues. The only thing I am worried about, and this is kind of a TMI, but so I know that they give you, like they test you for breast cancer and stuff or something like that and just make sure there's no issues. When I went to get an ultrasound before for my breasts, because they had lumps in them. And I was really confused, I didn't know if I had, you know. And so, they told me it was nothing. She told me it was regular, that people normally have lumpy, you know, areas up here. And so, I just hope that they don't find a problem with that. I really hope they don't. I should be fine, but that's the only thing I'm worried about. Everything I could pass, the blood tests, or whatever they do, the pregnancy tests, everything that they do, I'm ready for it. <laughs> and I am just ready to get my military experience started. So, that's that's what's happening. Oh, also when I went to Memphis for the first time, I didn't have to get on a plane or travel because it's in Atlanta and I live in Atlanta, the Atlanta area. So it was like 30 minutes away, so yeah. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated with everything else that goes on as far as this experience is concerned. I'll make sure you guys know everything. If you have any questions about the ASVAB, just feel free to let me know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know what else I can say. Um, I'm just really excited. And I can't wait to take you guys on this journey along with me. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn those post notifications on because it really helps me get notified for every video that I post. And yeah. Oh, no, no.